Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in September, I posted a video letting you know that Firefox tab groups could be coming back into the browser. And tab groups used to be a feature in Firefox back in the day, and then Mozilla pulled it due to so-called low usage, and now due to um, user feedback and being another highly requested feature once again, it seems that tab groups is on its way back into the browser. Now, in regards to tab groups, yesterday as I posted, Mozilla rolled out the latest stable release of Firefox version 133, which is the last major release of this year, 2024. And I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen. But just to let you know that there is an experimental feature that's become available now in Firefox 133 that will enable you to enable tab grouping and tab groups in the stable version where previously this was available in preview as I posted um, in September where it was available in the nightly and now is available um, for you to enable if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental features in the stable version. So if you want to enable tab groups and tab grouping in the Firefox stable version then what we do is we head up to our address bar we enter about colon config so that's about colon config because we are dealing with experimental features except the risk can continue and what you need to do is enter this flag into the search and I'll leave this down below in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference so we just paste that in and the default value is false we need to change that here to the right hand side to true and then what you need to do is close Firefox, then relaunch the browser, and that will apply that flag. And now just a basic overview and example for the purpose of this video. If you right-click on a tab now, add tab to new group, I'm going to keep it default blue. Let's call it number one. So you can name that tab group up to anything. Done. Let's go to the next. Add tab to group. New group. Let's just keep it at purple. Let's call it number two. You get the idea. And another example add tab to, I'm just going to add that to an existing group, number one, so you get the idea. And if you right click on the group, you've got manage tab options. So you can rename that, you can change the color, you can add to group. You've got a couple of grayed out options here. You can ungroup tabs, you get the idea. Now I have found, because obviously this is not a default feature, it's still hidden behind a flag and it's still experimental. It's not working in some aspects at 100%, but it's stable enough to get the job done if you want to work with tab groups in the stable version of the browser until this becomes a default feature. And I don't see why this won't become a default feature. Um, almost, I think, I think in 134 of Firefox, this could roll out as a default feature, possibly. If not, I would say by 135, tab grouping would be available uh, in the Firefox web browser. And uh, um, just wanted to put it out there to show you guys how you can do this. But just take note though, this is experimental. So this could be pulled at any time and it could have a couple of little niggly bugs. But as mentioned, it seems good enough to get the job done. And if you want to reverse the, pro the process and remove tab grouping as an experimental feature, then all you do is you head back into your experimental features by heading to the address bar, entering about colon config, just reversing the process. We enter that back in there and we change that from true to false. Then we close the browser, relaunch the browser and you'll see now that that tab grouping feature has been removed. So that's how you can apply tab groups before it becomes available as an official feature, hopefully in the next release or two in the stable version of the Firefox web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.